And when I go to full size preview, you can see when I click, watch this, see? So now we have this box that you see here is that shot of the waterfall. And I can adjust how big or small I want it and position it just right in this scene. I can add a drop shadow and how far away that drop shadow goes and actually give a, a slight border to the shot. But I, I'm one who prefers a small to, to no border. And let's have a little less drop shadow. And when I click a create, you can see that both shots are full motion. You see the grass moving in the foreground in this nice shot of the uh, Sawtooth Mountains in Idaho. And here's a shot of lower Yellowstone Falls. And when I click on playback, we have this beautiful shot uh, inset in another shot. Well, that's nice, but um, let's say we wanted to add another shot on top of that, or if I wanted to put a title on top of that, or if I just wanted to permanently lock these two clips together, the way we do that is using the Scene button. This also enables you to do what's called uh, layered editing. When you do multiple layers, the Scene button allows you to do that. And it's very simple to use. I select the two shots I want to make permanent that I want to bring together and make a layer of, and I click on the Scene button. In this particular case, I could use Effect because the effect goes the whole time, but I'm one who regularly uses Effect plus Scene. So this will take whatever effect I've got going on plus the two scenes that are part of it. And this is brand new and great feature in Smart Edit 6. Not only will it create a new scene in the Scene bin, taking all of this and compositing it, putting it together, it will also replace in the storyboard what I've got going on. So watch how quick it is, and it's done. So when I come back here, see this new scene is called Picture in Picture? And you also see the scene below. So it has now taken those and added them together. Isn't that cool? So where you'd go with that is I can go ahead now, and, uh, and I've got this shot of the, the, the morning dew in Yellowstone National Park. Uh, all shot on a high-def camera, brought into my Casablanca editor. And I want to make this six seconds as well. So we make that down to six seconds. And I'm going to add that behind. And you can see where I'm going with this. I'm going to add picture in picture, make this a full six seconds long. And the position's going to come up right on the same place, but I want to move it over. So now I can have two clips side by side. So now we have the morning dew and we have the waterfall. And in this way, you can layer make effect upon effect, scene upon scene, and now we'd click to the scene, remember my effects plus scene, replace it in the storyboard, and now it's complete. And the nice thing about this is you get building blocks, you get the steps. So there's the first composite, the first layer, and here's the second layer. So the finished product looks like this. Isn't that beautiful? So you can see right now that although it's very easy to use, the Casablanca digital video editor is a very, very powerful tool at your hands. So that's a quick taste of the transitions menu. Again, I highly recommend you begin to play with it to get a taste of what you have at your fingertips. And then, uh, if you haven't already, check out the resources available to you in the video manuals and the Tips and Tricks DVD if you want uh, further instruction. Jumping through a couple of the other menus, Image Processing lets me take a scene and I'm going to go back to default here and add some of the effects and filters that we had in our, uh, sorry, wrong button. I want to go back to default. So here's that, remember the color to gray, changing a scene essentially into black and white or monochrome? Now, I can do that to the scene in the scene bin in the edit menu, or I can do it to the storyboard. So when I preview that, we essentially have our, our black and white scene. You might ask, why would you want it in both places? Well, before in the scene bin, it lets me add these image processing effects to one scene at a time. But by putting it in the storyboard, I can add it to this scene and then click on the time button. Instead of just using this five second long scene, I can click on range. And now what I want to do is I want to add it to many more scenes. And as I'm scrolling to the left, you're seeing the footage from my storyboard. And when I click out of this, you can see that it has added that effect onto a number of scenes. So it's, it's a neat way of letting you take and add a filter or a special effect and put it on a whole bunch of scenes in the storyboard, just giving you some additional capabilities within your Casablanca interface. 
Now, the button we were playing with just a moment ago, the Scene button, is also present in this Image Processing window, and I would simply click on Scene, and I could do Effect plus Scene, or I can click on Range and take the whole storyboard if I want, okay? And it will take that whole storyboard, and it will make that whole storyboard a single effect, okay? So now it's rendering or creating that uh, uh, filter that I did where we changed the color to gray or the color to black and white and it's going to take and process any of the other effects in my storyboard that I've got going on and when I click out of this and come back to the edit menu this now is my whole storyboard so when I click on trim and scroll through it there's our video black and there's our first scene there's that effect we did a while ago and then we run into the color to gray and so that's a really, really powerful tool, that, that, that scene button that you have in the three effects menus. So again, image processing, uh, a, a lot of it is repeated from the special function, but it just enables you, it allows you to add those filters and effects to more than one scene uh, in, your, in, your, in your storyboard. Next thing we want to do is we want to play a little bit with the title menu. Now, of course, a title can, can, can just really make your presentation come alive. In the title menu, it's, it, it, it's nice in terms of learning because a lot of our menus uh, have repeatable functions, so it's easy. Once you learn one menu, it's easy to transfer, to take that knowledge and, and come over to another menu and say, okay, here's the storyboard, here's the scene I'm working on because it's in what we call the work box up here, and here's the things that I can do, the effects that I can add to that particular scene. So I'm going to come over here and let's select default. So I, I start with the very same titles that are sold with every Casablanca system. And uh, you can see that we have a range of add-ons. So some of you may have purchased Title Effects Pack 1. Uh, Deluxe Titler 3D is a phenomenal title package as well. So I will show you a little sample of that before we leave this menu. But first, let's do a, a, a fairly simple basic title and um, in and out fading pages. This will let me have my title come up and then fade away. I simply select the title and then click Add. I highly recommend you follow this step. One, two, three. Okay, so select the title effect you want, add it to the storyboard, and then you come down here and you're going to change the text. Your editor will likely come up the first time you use it with something that says this or something similar, and that's just the, the company name that's built into the system, and we can change that very simply. The easiest way to change it is go to Pages and delete the page. So now we start with essentially a clean slate. And let's just call this Our Trip to the Aquarium. And when I come back here to Title Effects, and again, I can click on the Minimizer button to see the whole title. That's actually a pretty nice looking title, but let's make it even more creative. Let's say I want to change the, the type of font. To change anything related to your text, you click on the Text button. And it brings up what we call the Virtual Keyboard. Now, you can use this on-screen keyboard or the USB keyboard that, you, that you was included that was shipped with your unit or that you may have purchased. I want to change the font, okay, and I have a range of fonts. Now, because I'm working on a demonstration model, I have every font that was manufactured. Um, if you're new to Casablanca, again, you can play with these fonts and explore them with your footage to see what you like. I highly recommend uh, a new font package that was just released the end of 2006 called Font Pack Pro 2. It gives some very attractive, stylish fonts. Once you select the style of font, you can adjust the size, and here it gives you a representation of, you know, roughly how large that's going to look on screen. Um, you want to be careful. Uh, the, the extreme large sizes, you know, above 200, are good only for very, very short words like the end. Okay? But since I have a fair amount of text on screen, I'm going to go ahead and select. I usually work between 80 and 105 in terms of my font size, but again, each project's going to be different for what you're working on. So now we have our trip. Okay? Then what I can do is, is I can go ahead and once I've typed it out, you can see I've only changed or affected one line of text. Well, the Casablanca developers gave us the capability to add that change to every line of text. So I click on 
text effects and come back here